Okay, I want to welcome everyone this morning to the call, and uh, I want to first say right off for those that share their story a little bit later that our, our, as we share stories, that Relive makes no claims to heal or cure any disease, that any stories you hear today are personal um, things that have happened that made a difference in individuals' lives, and we're always glad to hear the good things that happen when you have the best things going into your body to make a difference. So uh, I want to introduce myself, and um, for those who don't know who I am, I've been part of Relive now for 20 years. I'm a wife and mom of four, and next year my son will turn 50. My girls will be 48, 46, and 44, and we will be 55 years in celebrating and 75 years old but in Relive, we're young because I'm so thankful that somebody uh, heard me complaining about my health and said, you need to meet my friend, uh, that her husband's had great results and he's off of all pain medication. And I worked in the medical field of radiology, both diagnostic and cancer, and I had not heard of things that changed like I had heard with the Relive products. And when I got on these products, I was excited it wasn't a handful of pills that I'd been taking 20 to 33 times a day. And I got on the shakes, and it took about five months before I turned the corner and started to see things progress to a positive. I was $50,000 invested doing everything from a PhD nutritionist, naturopathic. I had therapies, organic food, handfuls of pills, and Relive was the missing piece. It truly, literally turned my life around. Six years after being on the product, I made a career change and walked away from the medical, knowing that I wanted to educate people that they had choices to do the right things so wrong things don't happen and use something that was safe and wouldn't cause a problem. So that's kind of my story. And my grandson was a five-year-old, uh, four pound, well, he was four pounds at birth, and when we found Relive, he was five years old and had been on nebulizer, upper respiratory problems all the time, antibiotics, and I just thought he won't have an immune system because every two weeks he was on this antibiotic. So now today he's 25 doing undergrad work and had a full four-year scholarship in football. So this little four-pound preemie grew up to be six foot three, 320 pounds, and he's my poster boy for the sports program, so I really enjoy that. But something else happened the last couple of years. I kind of stepped back. We were in uh, Texas a lot in 2016 when my grandson was playing college. And when we came back 2017, my husband had a shoulder surgery. And he's been a lifelong heart patient doing really well with Relip. And the doctor did not properly bridge his medication, and he had a mini brain stroke. So it took us about six months to get things balanced out. Thankfully, uh, Relive made the difference. I have no doubt that had we not had the best, that it could have been something far worse than uh, you can imagine. So in September of last year, I started thinking about, you know, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm going to launch my uh, Relive again in January now that things are settled down. And that's kind of what I did. So it's nice to know that while you're taking care of things. And the interesting part, my income went up $10,000 when I had to take a little bit of a step back. And that's the beauty of having a business like Relive because you build it right from the beginning and it will take care of you when you have those bumps in the road that come along. Uh, so speaking of stories, does anyone wish to share some good news on somebody you've helped this week or something unusual that's happened? Anybody ready for conference? Oh, sure, Sandy. It's Lauren Laird. All right. Are, Thank you, Lauren. Our group, our group is just absolutely, I can't even speak. We're so excited for conference. Everybody's looking forward to, to it, counting down the days. Um, I actually had a, a couple of fun conversations. Nothing exactly has happened quite yet, but um, I just was, you know, when people are placed on your heart, um, I, I try to act on it and not let fear or, you know, the, the doubt or what, what might happen get in the way. Um, just people that I had shared with Relive before and just kind of, like I said, they were on my heart. So I thought I'd just bring it up as life is, you know, it's been a few years, many years for, for one of them. And 
Um, it's just amazing that, that, you know, that both of these people that were placed on my heart within the last couple of days, they're both open to, to, to relive. Like enough has changed in their life. Things have kind of settled or they're just in a different place in life that uh, relive is, is a good time. So it, it's not that people aren't always interested. It's just sometimes the timing isn't right. So I'm really excited to see uh, where these things go. And um, I'm just talking to a lot of people that, that are in the Orlando area that I know, um, having a lot of connections to, to Disney in uh, Walt Disney World and uh, just inviting like crazy and seeing uh, who's going to show up for, for conference over there. Yep, and that's, that's really timing is everything. I tell you what, people are always watching you, and they're always listening to what you say. So um, don't ever, ever think that, that things aren't moving forward because what, what is happening is going to come about. You know, what you put out there, it's going to come right back to you. So always stay in a positive uh, frame of mind because that's really how we deal with anything is being positive. But... Um, I had something that came through that I just want everybody right now, just think about this. Say this out loud. I'm not here to be average. I'm here I'm to celebrate. I'm here to accelerate. That's why you're on this call, because these training calls are so important for you to move forward on a weekly basis. It's just um, kind of a lifeline of really making things happen in your business for week to week. Um, but before we get started, I will share a few things. Uh, I always call them the words of wisdom. I watched Shark Tank, and there were three of the Shark Tank uh, participants invited to the White House to speak to the veterans that were coming home and becoming entrepreneurs and going back into the job market. And one of the, uh, the Shark members said, don't focus on the business. Focus on the problem and provide a solution. And that took me back to the many conferences that I have attended, and Bob Montgomery has always said, find the need and fill it. And Dr. Carl has identified the problems over the year, and he has developed products that provide a solution. And it's just amazing. You know, and one of the things Dr. Carl said, and I heard someone share it last week, is there's only one thing that he can't put in the products, and that's patience. And, of course, we have to encourage our new, new customers to have the patience, you know, to let the product work over a time that, that is required. And uh, Bob also talked about leaders are readers. And I picked up the book Rise and Grind by Damon Johns, which is one of the Shark Tank guys. And that was a really, really good book that if you haven't seen it, you might, you know, grab one of those for a new read. So when you attend conference, Keep in mind that you're building your resume, a resume of health and business stories so that you can share with the new people uh, that you meet. And our job is really to provide information to people so that they can make a decision about their health or about their finances because we need to tell the whole story. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't need both of those. I think we all have to be understanding that Life is what it is, and we need to address both health and finances. And when you understand the need, then you can be excited about what Relive can do uh, to provide that for anyone that you need when they uh, come your way. I was asked to talk about why do we need supplements. And, you know, uh, that's a good question because I do a lot of networking, and, and these are for maybe some of the seasonal people that have gone through your initial list, and we'll go into that. But... Um, you need to have people understand the relive difference. And, and Tom Pennick has always said, we need to be out there and we need to show up and show out. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy doing. And I said something that was kind of a first time in front of a networking group. I said, relive products work when others things don't. So you can have a quality of health that others won't. And then I followed it up with a story. And I watch people's faces as I talk, and that's one of the things I hope you will start watching how people are responding to you by looking at their face and seeing if they're really listening, and then find out which ones seem to have an open mind and go and talk with them and meet up with them as part of, you know, what we do. But let's get into 
uh, what we're here for, and that is how to succeed with Relib. We have a system. Uh, there's a business cycle, a corporate support, daily activity, and we're going to go through each one of those, but the most important thing is we have to fuel our business with new people. Uh, you just can't sit at home and expect it to happen by osmosis. It just doesn't happen that way. <laughs> it's like belonging to the Chamber of Commerce. You can't just sign up at the Chamber and expect people are going to come and do business with you because they do business with people they see all the time and hear and uh, make decisions based on what you say. But the circle of excess, the first one is action. Uh, these are the daily fundamentals, and we're just going to go through and uh, – Identify when you're brand new, make a list of the 10 people that you have for prospects that are for products and 10 for business. Uh, I always like the, the 10 to win, and I'll talk to you about that. Uh, most people know what baseball is, and there's a diamond. And if you know that there's a first base, second base, third base, and then you have home base. And I like to think of my real business as, as a, a team effort. The first base is customers, the second base is distributors, the third base is master affiliates, and if you keep those bases full, the home base is ambassador. So it's building each base and filling them and keeping them filled so that when you um, become an ambassador, you've actually built layers and layers of master affiliates. And in baseball, if you miss any of those bases, the home run doesn't count. And that's kind of the message I want you to understand. It takes customers, distributors, master affiliates to build a solid base uh, business. And then you write down behind each one of the names why you thought of each one, and then who are the first five that you want to contact. And you're going to work with your upline because that's the power. I always call it team relive. Uh, you really want to work as a team because it's a lot better to work as a team than to be the Lone Ranger. And in our uh, guidebook that has all the different list of family, friends, work, and church, uh, that's what you want to do. And when you think about it, just start writing the names in. Connect. Those first 10 individuals for possibly the products or the business, this is what you're going to go over with with your upline. Uh, what do I say? Share excitement and why you thought of them first. I know it was really hard for me in the beginning because I really didn't know what I had my hands on. I didn't get my results right away. It took me a little time, but I kept hearing the stories, and that was all I had to share. And I would hear people uh, talk about their problems, and all I would say is, oh, how long you had that problem? What's working for you? And I would say, well, what if there's something that can help you? And I told about 10 people just by listening in the beginning. And in six months, 96 people were introduced to Relive just because I was hearing them about their problem and asking if I could do something to help them. So um, using their why lets them know you care. So that's really important. I, I'm so glad my ears don't grow because I develop cauliflower ears. I mean, when I heard somebody complaining, it was like, oh, I need to talk to them, right? <laughs> so you can use the company tools to validate, and we'll get into to more of that. But the whole idea is to set an appointment. Um, and that's what, what we really want to do. We don't want to um, tell them everything. And as they always used to say, don't throw up on them because they'll, they'll be very shy to meet with you because now they're thinking you're trying to sell them something if you go overboard. These are some of the questions that are sentences that people can use. Kathy, I know your health is a priority. I'm working with a company that could really help you. I usually say, are you open to something that could help you? I like this, to ask them if they're open because let me tell you, some people just don't want to hear it. And if they're open, then you can go ahead and say, may I uh, exchange numbers and let's get together and let's talk about it. And you don't say any more. You don't tell them what you're with or, or you know, you just don't go into details. Um, the whole purpose of meeting is to give them that information. And then, of course, hi, John, at the soccer game, you mentioned that finances are tight. And I always like to say I'd like to show you a way that you can have the income that your family needs, just like my family. 
uh, and are you open to meet? And, you know, you kind of find your own thing, but the best question is how are you? Let me tell you, that is the biggest question you can, if you can't say all those other things, just say, hey, how are you? And then listen. And then you decide, hey, how about if we meet up? And you don't have to go into deep. Yes. This is so good, and not everyone is meeting their line. There's really a lot of background noise, and you're just doing – I really enjoy the training, but there's a lot of commotion. So everyone needs to mute their lines, or or you need to mute them, because it's so good, and it's distracting. So do I do the star uh, 41? No. Star – which one do I mute? Star 41? Let me get my stuff. Um, I think it's star 41. Yeah, it's – 41 I or think 40. it's star 41. Okay, they're muted now. Okay, thank you, guys. All right, first timer. Thank you, Quila. So anyway, how are you is the best question you could ever ask. So keep it simple. Don't try to be complicated and be yourself. Don't try to uh, do a script because scripts don't work. You just kind of stumble over it. Uh, but share the story, the relive story. Um, share your why, your belief, your heart. And uh, when I meet someone, I I actually try to wear a name badge that says my name, Relive, and Leader in Epigenetics. So the nice part about it, people are asking me, what's epigenetics? And I'll say, you know, uh, Relive is a company that has done advanced research, and because of these products, I have a quality of life today that I had lost. Uh, from four car accidents, and as a result, I made a decision to do a career change, and I have a phenomenal business. This is my 20th year part of Relive, and I'm helping others do the same. And it's just a kind of a, that's a brief story. I'd love to meet up with you, you know, and then I I really go back uh, and ask everything about them first, because I want to know everything about them. And then I'll say, you know, I really enjoyed talking to you. Why don't we get together? And then I get, uh, let's exchange numbers, and a lot of times they have business cards. But if you don't, I usually carry a piece of paper and a pen in my purse, and I say, you know, let's exchange number. I ask them, do you do texting? And I write down their number, and I say, may I have your email as well? Uh, And that's how I I do it when I'm out sharing my story that's very brief. Uh, We do have a lot of tools that are available. And then, of course, the next step is use your upline. If you're brand new, uh, we can always connect and use our uplines to help us uh, while we're growing our business and know the right things to do. Oops. Share the Relive story. Help new people engage themselves and who they know. Uh, Relive meetings and events. Now, some areas have a weekly meeting and they have a Saturday or they have two a month. It's just wherever you are. In my situation, once a month I do a brunch, and then throughout the, the week I promote doing healthy lifestyle education and go in and speak at different communities about why we need nutrition and the difference between the pills and uh, the supplements that are in a form of a shake. And, you know, we just talk about why we need to supplement because it's no longer an option. We have to do it to be healthy. Uh, The in-home parties are always great. I know uh, a lot of people are successful doing this. Uh, Kimberly Burns is, uh, we call her the party queen. The webinars like today are great conference calls. It's always good throughout, uh, throughout the week. I'm in on the conference calls that are sharing stories of hope. And this is really what I use the Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. There's all kinds of calls that are available. I make sure I listen to these calls every week, and most of the time it's replays. But I've been doing this 20 years. I'm still doing what I did in the beginning that built my business. So you can't change the foundation of how we build a business, and that's being educated to know what these products are doing to change lives, both with health and business. Uh, The Lifestyle Magazine, when I get Lifestyle Magazine and there's some good articles, I scan and save them in my files so that I can send out a lifestyle story to a new contact that's maybe specific to them. Uh, The Relive blog, uh, all these things are there, and you just have to get online and take time to go through what's available. And, you know, set aside an hour to go in and do your work because we don't have a job, but we do have to work. 
And the acronym for work is work often requires knowledge. And the confidence that you have when you know what you're dealing with is so important because that's what gives you the joy of going out and knowing that you have the very best to offer people, hands down. You know, there's a lot of opinions out there, but we've got the facts that these products are changing people's lives. Be honest and use Relive's built-in system to educate and validate. If I can go for them. This one, ask for a decision. When you have your appointment, ask for a decision. I like to give people um, the option to consider where they want to get started, and I like to put together a program that gives them a choice, one, two, three, because a lot of times when I was brand new, I was so nervous to write out a order form and what, what it cost have recommended order ready for customer, distributor, master affiliate. So my thing was I did Now and Energize. That was one. Then I did Now Energize and Fiber. That was two. And with what we have today, I give the option of Now Energize and Lunar Rich Capsule. So I have three things, and I just say, where would you like to get started? What, what fits into your budget? Because I have to be respectful that everybody starts where – they feel comfortable, and based on the benefits that you've shared with each one of the products, they decide what products they want to get started on. A lot of times I'll, I'll talk about the nutrition, the hydration, and the benefit of the fiber. And when they hear the benefits of the fiber, I have people say, you know, I need to add that fiber because they know what's going on in their body and they know the benefits they want. So we don't sell anything to anyone we provide the benefits, and they buy what they want and what they need based on what you share in information. So we be ready to help them register, and I love the, um, the app is great if you're right there and you want to do that. But sometimes I will go home, get on the computer with the client that I met with, and they're more comfortable doing the registration online, and I walk them right through the website they connect into me, register, and then they we order right away. And I actually did two online quick starts just by doing it that way. Uh, and they like it because it's easy. It's uh, something they can do. And, and then the whole idea of what we do is to be able to duplicate. Now, a lot of people like to start out with a simple Lunar Rich Super Pack, and that's great. But a lot of times um, we individually have things that we prefer – I love the Mighty Three, which is nutrition, the Now or Classic, Energize, and Fiber, or the option of the Now and the Energize. I, I have three little packages that I like to offer, and then if they want something other than that, you know, I let them make a decision. I don't make it, you know, solid where they can't do anything else other than what I have to offer, but I really believe that they're brand new. They don't know where to get started, and they're just depending on us to give them the right thing to get started with. And the foundation, you have to look at your body like a foundation of a house. And we need to have good nutrition, we need to have water, and we need to have a daily uh, cleansing so that we have everything cleared out and we're not blocked up in our intestinal tract and in our arteries where we can't get things into our system the way they need to. So um, if they decide to be a customer, you can order directly and show them how easily it gets shipped directly to them with FedEx, or I do try to carry a, a basic get at getting started nutrition, hydration, and fiber so that I have it with me when I go see a new person. So if they just want to be a customer, I can get them started right there and mix their first shake for them in front of them. I take a black marker pen and write on the can the instructions, you know, how much to use because they, they just really like that. And then I have a little instruction sheet that shows them getting started two shakes a day, and this is how you mix it. Uh, they just like to have that kind of uh, visual aid because they don't remember what you say. They go home and they forget everything <laughs> most of the time. So the application and the paper online, I very seldom uh, use the application because it's so easy to register right online. Uh, I always show them the comp plan. I show them the quick start, and I tell them this is one of my – uh, favorites, I call it my family plan, 
This is a level of entry that allows people to have the best product with a 25% uh, level of savings. And it also gives you an option for the business at the same time. You may not be open to a business right now, but what I show you could be something that you have a friend that is looking to have a business and you will know that we have something that can help your friend. Uh, so, you know, I try to do third party because they're not always ready for a business, but you do want to show the whole thing. And I tell them my story. When I was introduced, I was 50000 in debt, but I knew I could not pay retail. And I asked the person, how can I get a savings? I started at the quick start, but before the month was over, I sold some stock because I knew I wanted to have the 40% level, and I knew my husband needed, my grandson, and I told my personal story. I made sure that I had the top. I use my product now for 20 years with 40% level. And when I was ready to do a serious business, I was able to uh, step in and have a business that was already in place. I'd already had an average of 1000 1500 a month from helping people that were just telling me they were sick and tired and wanted to find something. So it was kind of telling them my story that my six to ten hours a week when I was working full time was starting to have a 500 to 1000 of income. And then six years after being on the product, I made a decision to walk away from the medical and within six months replace that income. And within three years of working a part-time, I was able to have a $90,000 income in my third year doing Relib. And that's, that's how you share your, your story. You build your story. I can't share anybody else's story. I'm working with them directly. And that's what they need to hear is, what did you do? And that's why I enjoy helping people that work full-time jobs. I navigate them how they can integrate Relive in and they can actually do a career change if they want to do that down the road. So who do you know that might want to start a Relive business? We don't always ask questions, but that's the reason why we do what we do today, to try to get the understanding that we just need to ask, who do you know that would like to have better health? Who do you know that is really struggling uh, with their health or their finances that we can help them and give them a choice? Uh, and we we just have to give people choices so that they can do the right things so wrong things don't happen. And a lot of financial uh, instability has come from medical bills. Uh, having worked in the field of radiology, I can tell you, people are financially in debt. The, the biggest uh, problem with bankruptcy is the financial problem from the medical bills. So register and go. Follow up with uh, the customers. This is really important. The follow-up is very, very important. Thank you notes. I encourage you to write a personal thank you note to every new customer, every new distributor, because these are the foundation of your business. They want to know that you care. And I usually send in a story from the Lifestyle Magazine or some good information along with that thank you note. And uh, we're going to conference. Every time I go to conference, I take little bullet notes. I take little highlight notes. And when I come back, I do what I call the relive scoop. And I give bullets, just a one page, this is what happened at conference. I'm so excited. And I give them the update. And what that does, every, well, we used to do every three or four months, but every time we had a conference, I would mail out a personal update. And I can tell you, every time I looked at my downline, I would have four and $500 orders going in after I mail out my letters. Because sometimes people fall off the wagon. And when you bring back to their mind like, oh my gosh, why did I ever get off that? I, have you ever heard anybody say that to you? Why did I ever get off that? And they get back on. Or they'll call me up and say, I need to get back on this. So keeping in touch, what it does as a new person it lets them know that you're still in business, that you take what you're doing seriously because I've been solid for 20 years and I'm out in networking and there's people on their fourth company. They drop one thing, go to the other, and it's like Heinz 57. That's not stability. People know that I am still with. And for many times, I'd have people come up and say, are you still with? And I'd say, yes. <laughs> and now... 
they say, you have been with this a long time. Wow. And now they realize this is the real deal. I mean, you know, it's it's staying solid in what you're doing. So those follow-ups, you know, make sure they're using the products right. I mean, this is all important. Hey, how did you take your shake today? And then I let them tell me how they mixed it. And then I follow them up and I said, are you doing, are you getting the two shakes in today? Because how many of you know that people get so busy that, oh, my gosh, and they think they've failed. I don't want her to know I can only do one shake. I had a gal said, I can only get one shake in. I said, oh, you're doing great. If you're doing one shake every day and you've never done that before, you're doing awesome. So don't beat up on yourself. And I said, here's my suggestion. Set your phone for 12 noon or 1 o'clock, and when that goes off, you take your second shake. I mean, that's what you have to do. And then the other thing that I do for people when I meet them, they don't drink water. I don't start anybody on fiber until I have them up to the three bottles of water, which is about eight glasses a day. I have them set their uh, timer on their phone for every 55 minutes to stop and stretch and take in a deep breath and drink a glass of water. I'm having them kind of decompress every hour on the hour, especially those that sit around. It's these type of things that give your customers more than just a product. You're giving them a lifetime of help in areas that sometimes they don't take care of themselves, but that's our job for them to do the other little things so that the products work at a higher level if they uh, will do the other little things to make the products uh, do what they're supposed to do. And then the, the day 10, what results are you seeing? And usually people see energy, are they sleeping better? Uh, but that's why we do the health history. You want to uh, be sure you have them fill out information of what's going on and why they're addressing the problem and what they're expecting. What would you like Relive to do for you? That's one of my questions. What would you like our products to, to address? And then they'll write down. And so when you do the follow-up and, and say, how are you doing with, and then you refer to the, the things. And sometimes they will say, oh, my gosh, I forgot all about that. And that's why we do the health history so that we remind them that the products are working and they don't even understand that it's already starting to do things and they, they just don't remember they had the problem. And then, of course, who do you know who could benefit from these products or this business? When we have our Thursday night calls, we only have one call a month, and it was 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, and I made it a point to have all my new customers schedule an appointment to be on those calls. I didn't get home from work until 6. So I did a 6.30 and a 7.30 call. And the thing that was important is they were people sharing their stories of what was happening. And when I would get off the call, they would say, oh, my gosh, my cousin needs to, has this problem in that. The stories help them think of people that need to know about Relive. So if we're doing the follow-up and providing the calls, now, I do know phone calls are becoming um, a little tricky to do, and I do power texting to uh, send out um, recorded calls that have some great information, or I will send an email of these calls, and then I'll text them, check your email, because you know what? A lot of our emails get lost in the trash. And if I'm going to take the time to send out valuable information, then I'm either going to call them and say, hey, uh, Joan, I just sent you an email with an incredible story. I don't want you to miss it. I mean, this is just how important I think what Relive is doing because if we don't value our business and put it quality, and not only that, it just tells the person, hey, look, I really care about you, and this is what I'm sending. And if you keep being consistent in following up with people with this type of support, um, they understand that you, you're the real deal. You really do want them to get quality of life. Okay. Let me. Okay, set distributors up to succeed. Once someone registers and they are looking at the business, you immediately have them identify the first people that are coming to their mind. Who do you know that would love to work with you
Okay. All right. So uh, we're on where we're registering someone, and it could be a quick start, or it could be the master affiliate. Wait, you know what? Okay. So one of the things that I do with a brand new person that's wanting to do a business, I like to do an orientation just one-on-one -on -one with us, and they can get on their computer at home. I'm on my computer, and I walk them through the Relive website on things that will help them. And it's kind of like their homework. They need to go back in and watch the videos, uh, watch the XGAR, what Tom has put together. Uh, each day, watch the identify, you know, um, each, each one can be a timetable for that person. Maybe they've only got 30 minutes a day. And if they're working full time, they'll find the time because anytime you have a, a second job, you have to show up when they tell you. This, I treat this part-time for new people. This is their job, and they have to be consistent or they won't have an income. And so I try to encourage them to make a decision to decide when they're going to go in and do this. When's the best time for you to go in and have some time to know more about what you're doing and listening to the call. So I set up a sheet that has orientation, the Saturday trainings on there, some re replay calls that are done on a weekly basis. And I really believe the more stories you hear, the more business you will have. Because when people ask you, will it help with, I was on a call and I said, oh my gosh, I was just on a call. I need to connect you with that information. And then I'll get the information and get back to them. Those story calls allow you to do a good job of providing information that can help other people. So uh, I do spend time. I was busy this week, but when I got home Thursday at 8 o'clock, I listened to three calls that were on replays from Wednesday and Thursday and had them ready to uh, share by the next day. You know, so I, it's very important to keep educated. That's my education part. I never, ever cease to be amazed at the, uh, the results that people are having for so many things. You have to understand, in the medical field, I heard doctors tell people there was nothing more to be done, and I heard Relive uh, defy that. Uh, Relive was doing what doctors said couldn't happen. So that's why I left the medical field. I couldn't stay where I knew I wanted to do more with something that worked. These are some of the tools. I do like the Your Health Genetics and Lifestyle when you have somebody who wants a lot of information, uh, I like to have that particular article. But one of the things to do before you start handing out paperwork, ask people, are you a reader? Guys, there's some people that don't read. You give them paperwork and that, and they're going to throw it out. They're not going to read it. There are people that just don't want anything. <laughs> so always ask, are you a reader, or can I send you information or call – They'll pick up a phone and maybe dial in and hear something before they would even read. Uh, I like to have the uh, product catalog when I am meeting with people. Uh, that's after I've had an official meeting and talked about why we're different from others and how it can be beneficial. And, of course, then the ca I just don't hand out catalogs. When I do a vendor table, I don't hand out anything but stories and information and then I uh, have my brunch that I do once a month, and I'm always promoting the brunch. I do it the last Saturday of every month, so it gives me all month to promote. And my brunch is the one I did in September uh, was over a 1,000 of business and retail, and one became a quick start, and one was uh, reordering and kind of up, upgrading the program she was on using the burn and the purify. So people come and make some decisions to do the next step, and that's why we educate so that maybe people don't have to medicate so much. But this is the, the system. We have a business cycle. Wow, shoot. Well, hecky darn. There we go. Okay. This is our business cycle, the international conference. We build from conference to conference, from events to events. There's not – a conference that I don't come home just more excited than ever that we've got a quality product and a quality company. And Dr. Carl has always said, Relive will never let you down. Um, these products do not fail. If they're used correctly and enough, they work. When somebody doesn't want to follow, 
Don't beat up on yourself when they decide not to do the right thing. And we all have that happen. We have people that just don't value doing for themselves. They just don't do it. And that's just the way it is. So let it go. But daily activity, one of the things that we need to do every day is we need to know what we're going to do to have our business move forward. I always make a list of what I'm going to do on the next day. My daily activity is a lot of networking. I go out to meet up where there are people who don't know about Relive. You can go on the meetup groups, guys. Go to the Chamber of Commerce. Check out what's happening with groups, uh, activities. Find out where there's activities in your city and show up. Sometimes you can go to um, maybe an open thing at the library or some other. There's always people everywhere. And all you have to do is just start talking and uh, finding out more about them. Hey, what brought you here? If I'm somewhere, I'll say, hey, how did you hear about this event? What brought you here? What do you do? You know, I just start doing the conversation, and uh, that's how I open up the conversation. Um, have business cards. Make sure you have personal business cards, and people do things a little differently, but put a picture on your card so that they know who you are, and then make that one-on-one -on -one appointment. Uh, I, I don't think large numbers is where it's at. You know, we're each one person away from changing a person's life. And I'd much rather have three or four people versus 10, 20 that don't really have an interest. I, I select quality to meet with. Uh, and sometimes they are not always open when they first meet you. And you may see them two or three times before that connection is there. Um, but we do need to have those three-way calls. I so value that because I can tell them a lot of information. And I've got 20 years of stories and everything. But coming from someone else and letting them hear it from another person has far more value than hearing me repeat myself over and over. And I always ask, you know, I don't want to blind sign them and say, you know what, my support is helping you understand that it's just a matter of time before you see the results that you want for your health is that right? and i always let them agree you can't just you know you have have to reiterate uh is that what you want you know are you open to the support because you just some people won't take phone calls and we've all been there uh, but i'll say do you do texting can i text you some information are you willing to do that and really that is where i'm at right now with a lot of people they work full-time they don't have a uh, – we just can't connect on a phone at a specific time. So texting is a wonderful way. And then they call me. Once they have an opening, they'll say, hey, just give me a call, text me, let me know that you have a moment, and we'll connect. So uh, use that as your lifeline. The training, webinars, so all of this, you know, everything we do has to be intentional. And I just kind of want to close it out with something that, came out in an article. It was, says, I am your customer. It says, I am your customer. Satisfy my need. Add personal attention and a friendly touch, and I will become a walking advertisement for your products and services. Ignore my needs. Share carelessness and attention and poor manners, and I will cease to exist as far as you are concerned. I am a perfectionist. When I am dissatisfied, take heed. Find the source and eliminate it, or you will lose my business and that of my friends as well. For when I criticize your products or services, I will talk to anyone who will listen. You must prove to me again and again that I have made a wise choice in selecting you and your company above all others. And that's really what the follow-up, the personal notes, I never use stickies for addresses. I always take time to write out the address. I use a red or a green pen so they know I wrote a personal note. And, guys, this is what I've done from the 20 years ago, sending out the Relive Scoop from the first conference that I ever went to, and my business has flourished. I still have my very first person I introduced to Relive 20 years ago. And uh, it just makes a difference because now they know that you're really serious about what you do and that you're there to help their families, and then the referrals come because you've proven that you do care and that you 
You aren't looking for money. You're looking to help them with their life. And the byproduct of doing the right thing in your business, you will be paid the rest of your life. So I hope this has been um, a help. And I'm going to undo the line. I mean, I got to do something else first. This is all new to me, guys. So I've got it recording. 